Randy Habert here with Angelo Sanco for the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes, and he's having a great 2011, as well as uh, the team is doing so also. Now, Angelo, you're a graduate of Loyola Marymount. Uh, how did that uh, school prepare you for professional baseball? Um, you know, just l helping me learn the game, learn the game of baseball and how it's supposed to be played, and it's definitely helped me a lot and throughout my success and pay my coaches all I pay my coaches all the effort. Now, this year's been a good year so far for the Quakes. You guys have uh, finished up the first half uh, in first place. What's the key to this team doing so well? Um, timely hitting and pitching. Um, we've got great pitching to help us get to the playoffs and clutch hitting from every single person on this team. So we're just lucky enough to make a playoffs, and hopefully we can win this thing. Now, you were drafted in the fourth round in 2009, but prior to the draft, you worked out for a number of different teams, and uh, you were kind of surprised when the Dodgers were the team that picked you, weren't you? Oh, yeah, I was very surprised. I mean, it, it kind of came out of left field. You know, it was a team that I wasn't really expecting, but, I mean, it's a great organization, a great franchise, and just honored to be a part of it. Uh, back in uh, 2008, I believe, you were playing in the Cape Cod League, and uh, that was a very, very good experience in terms of, again, setting the foundation for you uh, on a professional level, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it helped me a lot. You know, it's obviously it's a wood bat league and something that I wasn't really prepared for going in, but... You know, it was just a good experience and definitely helped me to be able to come out and be, play professional. Now, as the word out there is that you're a secret Halo fan. You're a big, you're a big <laughs> L.A. Angel fan. Uh, are you still following them closely? I mean, it's a great franchise, and, uh, you know, they got a former Dodger manager there and Mike yeah. Socha, so, heck, there's nothing wrong with following the Halos, but do you, do you, you still feel that, that love for that organization? Um, I mean, I don't really follow them as much, obviously, because uh, part of the Dodgers, Dodgers organization, but they are a Cali team, and, you know, they're just a great team, but, you know, I follow the Dodgers even more now. When you're going really, really well and you're seeing the ball, you know, the way you want to see it, you're hitting the ball into the gap in left center. Uh, why, why is that? Why is that? Is it just a matter of you being a little more patient, letting the ball get deeper in the zone for you? That's exactly what it is, you know, be more patient, see more pitches, and just trying to get my hands extended out to the zone and when I'm going good that's left center field is where I'm hitting the ball. Now like teammate uh, John Red Patterson he was on the all-star team in the Midwest League with the Loons and you got that honor in the Cal, Cal League this year representing the Cucamonga Quakes and that has to be a great honor and make you feel real good to, to be selected to that didn't it? Oh this is definitely a great honor you know I mean there's a lot of great talent and great prospects on in this Cal League and being able to represent the Cali is just a great experience. What's the best skill that you have to offer the Dodgers, and what do you think of your skill set needs to be maybe tweaked a bit and, and, and put more emphasis on and maybe do a little more work in? Um, I feel like every part of my game needs work. Um, to be more specific, probably my defense is uh, what I think needs to be improved more. But like I said, every part of my work I think needs to be improved every each and every day. and. Um, just defense and defense is what it needs to be. Now at Loyola Marymount, you were a uh, center fielder by trade there, and you spent most of your time there. And then uh, coming up into the pro ranks, they decided to put you in the corner. And uh, is that is that an easier transition for a center fielder to go from, you know, maybe uh, before covering gap to gap, and now just worrying about one area? Um, for myself, I feel like left field is one of the hardest positions on the field, just because of the way balls are hit and everything but I've definitely gotten used to it and trying to get better at it and it's a lot different than center field. Now when you're playing left field and you got a left hand batter up there is the tendency to play more towards the line that the ball's going to hook back towards the line? I feel like it yeah I mean what I've been taught throughout my career is play towards more line because obviously left left handed hitters have more of that slice and will hit it towards there more so I mean I feel like it's definitely what a left fielder should do. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you so far, Angelo. I know this second half is going to bring great things for you and for the Quakes. Thanks so much for joining us on Soul Cal Go Live. We look forward to talking to you again. Thank you. Thank you.